Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and once again welcome back to Barca Time. So there is a new good news regarding Danny Omo and Femin Lopez who is said to be available for Barcelona next UEFA Champion League match at home against the Bavarian, that is a Bayern Munich. A lot of updates about these two players. When are they supposed to return for the match against Bayern Munich? You hear about that one. Wojciech Szczesny finally have completed his move as a new Barcelona player. And aside that, Szczesny have also said something to our sporting director Deku. And that is what you hear about what Szczesny have told Deku with his new move as a Barcelona player. And as always, there's another different Barca players and news. We'll be talking about this right here in today's video. But before we start... Please, if you're a Barcelona fan, if you're a cooler like me and always you want to receive what is going on with FC Barcelona, their news, transfer update, everything regarding Football Club Barcelona, then I'll be happy if you take this moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to like this video. And for you doing that, I'll be very much happy. And also, I will appreciate you a lot because that's going to help me build this my small and humble channel. So now, let's begin with today Barcelona news. We have it right here. And so guys, let's begin here with this, our two defenders. That is Ariandro Baudi, our left back, and also our center back, Inigo Martinez. And you know, tomorrow is the day the Spanish national team squad list will be released. Yes, that is tomorrow. And Mundo Deportivo have reported here that Inigo Martinez has chances to return to the national team list tomorrow. That is the Spanish national team tomorrow. Casado and also Alejandro Baudi also have chances to return. So as I said, tomorrow is the day De La Fonte is going to release the squad list that he will use to play the World Cup qualifiers. And Mundo is saying that Inigo and Andrew Baudi have chances to be called up. And you know, the more Barcelona players have been called up into their national team, the more money Barca will also be earning from that. So let's hope all the best that tomorrow, when the Spanish national team will be out, it will include a name of Inigo Martinez and also Alejandro Baudi, as reported here by Mundo Deportivo. Unlike Alejandro Baudi and Inigo Martinez, who are likely to be called up tomorrow by the Spanish national team in sports, is given a report here that Frank Guillon will not be called up by the Netherlands national team for the international break and will remain in Barcelona with a plan to return to full fitness. You know, Dion have been injured a long time ago, and we just saw Dion on Barcelona just past Tuesday, Barcelona Champions League match at home against Young Boys. So many people think, Although Frank Dion have received a medical green light to play for Barcelona, but the player is not full fit. Like he have not returned to full fitness. So Barca expect him by the end of the international break. Frank Dion supposed to return to full fitness, and with this reason, that's why he will not be called up by the Netherlands national team, or because Barca want him to stay in Barcelona and still continue his recovery, so that by the end of the international break, Frank Dion supposed to return to 100% full fit. Coolers, there is also a breaking news here from Joaquin Pera about our club president, that is Juan Laporta, that Juan Laporta want to make a big, big signing for the new Spotify camp. So we are just waiting who that player is going to be because Laporta have a big player name in his mind on his list that at the beginning of the new Spotify camp noon, Barca is supposed to present that player. And we are just asking ourselves who that player is going to be. Is it going to be Haaland? Is it going to be Musiala? Or is it going to be Luis Diaz? We are just waiting for that moment to come. But report here saying that Joanna Porter want to make a big signing for the new Spotify camp. No. Now on Danny Omo and Femin Lopez. And as I said in the beginning, these two players, Omo and Femin, are supposed or expected to be ready or available for the match against Bayern Munich. And also, they are supposed to be available for the match against Real Madrid. That is the El Clasico. And as I said, when are they supposed to be ready? That is right after the international break. And that is where... Barca will be able to have Omo and Femen fully fit and ready for the match against Bayern and also Real Madrid. We know the one against Bayern is going to be very difficult because Bayern have also lost one game that is yesterday against Aston Villa, like how we have also lost one game to Monaco. So we clashing them at home is going to be difficult, but always have it in your mind. It's difficult, but not impossible with addition of Olmo and Femi Lopez being back once again to Barcelona squad. And now Kula is talking about Chesney, our new signing, our new goalkeeper who we signed him to replace injury Mark andre test again. And that is what you can see it here according to Catalan Radio that Chesney has told Deco that in two weeks he will be at the level to take the first keeper spot. You know, Iñaki Pena is not going to allow it that way that Cessny, a player who almost retired, who have come out from retirement to take the uh, first keeper spot 
in Barcelona. No. Iñaki Pena is going to allow Chelsea to take it that way. So there's going to be a training battle, a battle there between Chelsea and Iñaki Pena of who should be the first goalkeeper for FC Barcelona. And that is why Chelsea, according to Catherine Radio, have told Deku that you did everything to sign me, but give me two weeks. I will do everything I can to even convince Iñaki Pena to leave the first key passport for me. So that is what Chelsea have to deco when it comes to who should be first keeper for FC Barcelona. On the side of Gerard Martin, there is a report here from Mundo Deportivo that Barcelona are in advance to renew Gerard Martin's contract. The negotiations are going well for a four-year contract extension. And I know this is very clear. So Barca now want to extend Gerard Martin contract for additional four more years. And so Kulas bringing this video to an end, Hansi Flick, our coach, is also considering promoting Unai Hernandez, who is in Barcelona B side, into their first team because Flick see this player as a future player for FC Barcelona. And aside that, you know, Unai Hernandez contract will expire in the year 2025, which is next season. And Barcelona have started everything as soon as possible. They are in talks with Unai Hernandez to sign a long term contract with FC Barcelona and also against Alaves. Robert Wandowski can set a record here and that record is Robert Wandowski need to score a goal against Alaves and that will be his 50th goal in La Liga as a Barcelona player and I know Robert no matter what happened who will make this happen by scoring a goal against Alaves and that is all for today guys please help me by liking this video and also if you want more Barcelona video latest news like this don't also forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. But until we meet, Vizca Barca, Vizca Catalonia. I thank you guys a lot for all of your support and also for watching this video. Thank you.